Bankers carry the bag. You know them, the blue or green canvas bags that new analysts traditionally receive when they start at a bank. And over the past 20 years, they have come to signify a badge of honor on the street. Here with us now is the creator of those bags, Lisa McCullough. She is the founder and president of Scarborough and Tweet. She joins us now on set with a bunch of these so-called deal bags. I've got one from Credit Suisse uh, right in front of me here. Morgan Lisa. Stanley over here. Hey, and Yale. Yale Which University is not an over there. Bag. It's true. Lisa, how did these bags, these seemingly simple bags, become so wildly popular on Wall Street? Uh, thanks very much, by the way, for letting me on the show today. Um, I think basically it's because it's just a really great way of being really proud of where you work. It's just a simple, um, really durable product that people use on their weekends or to carry their gym clothes. And it's just something that um, has become kind of a staple, kind of an industry st standard. Particularly for the, the new hires, for the younger employees. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's really funny because sometimes I'm in airports and I see people with the bags. So of course, I go up and talk to them, and most of them are younger. And they say, oh, we are on our college interviews. And the, after the interview, that's all we can think of as, I hope I get that bag. So it's really fun for me to hear that. I think that it's something that, um, again, that people just feel, you know, they're really proud to, to trumpet their yeah. company name. And what do people use the bags for, typically? What's in this one? Well, originally the bag it's full was... full of cash. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be nice. Uh, originally the bag was used as conference, like a conference giveaway. So yep. people were uh, taking it and basically putting their market research in it and then realizing that it was just practical and useful for their weekends. Um, and then, of course, as things have changed... I thought the young throughout... bankers didn't get weekends. <laughs> that, that's true. Well, maybe they give it to their families. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They get them now. That's right. They get them now. Uh, so... It's a good gym bag as well. So a lot of times, you know, people are... Are, you know heading out to the gym afterwards so it's been useful for that as well and then recently we find it a lot at farmers markets and so it's kind of grown and kind of uh, you know kind of changed in the generations of what its purpose has been for uh, and it's not just banks anymore tell us about some of the definitely not I mean in, uh, I've had my firm for 23 years and I really this is my first year of actually advertising um, so my, many of the um, growth that I've had throughout the 20 three years is because people receive the bag. So a, a, someone at a conference will get it and say, this is an amazing, you know, really good, practical, inexpensive product, and I want to do it for my firm. So we've moved from just financial to law firms, consumer products, um, TV, uh, a lot of schools. So it's really spread. And it also has gone uh, internationally as well. We do a lot of our, our bags overseas. And are all the bags the exact same model, same size? No, not at all. Um, this, this is the original duffel that is the simple version. Um, we have over 50 versions now. So the last 23 years I've designed lots of different styles with more bell, bells and whistles. Um, I still think this is definitely the most uh, popular. Um, we do have others that have you know, pockets and zippers and adjustable straps and leather trim and all kinds of things with it, but people tend to really like the traditional model the most. Uh, and tell us about this new charitable component. So I'm really, really excited because uh, when I hit my 20 year anniversary, I really wanted to try to you know think about ways to make it different. And we started doing a give back component to our business, but um, now right here, we're announcing that um, we are excited to announce that we're going to form a partnership with our World Food Program where uh, for every bag purchased from our Scarborough and Tweed catalog made by Scarborough and Tweed in the United States, we will be giving, it, it will be giving one meal to someone in need. So we're really, really excited about this and it's something personally that I've always wanted to do and I'm really, really happy I can That's do it That's fantastic. Today. Are you able to see hiring trends at the banks because you can see <laughs> what their plans are when they're ordering the, the number of bags at the lower order? Presumably there's a good lead time there. Um, no, not really. Um, I, I try to stay out of that market of it, but um, I basically just, I see fashion trends. I see different changes of colors. Yeah. I see the hunter green one year and then grays come into play. And, um, you know, the subtlety of it, I think, has always been really very important to them, um, but not really. In not really an indicator. Of no, no. But I like the question. <laughs> uh, you know, there's, there's, there's clues everywhere. Really yeah. interesting stuff. There's a great story about this on Bloomberg.com, which you can find on Bloomberg.com or Bloomberg Pursuits Magazine. Lisa McCullough, Thank uh, you. founder and president of Scarborough and Tweed. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank you. much.